Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead Seed. The last video I made of milking, um, I showed you guys how I milked my cow and the steps I do. So now I thought I would show you how I filter my milk and clean up my milker. So first thing, I always rinse out the rags and I put them on the laundry machine so they can be washed and then this gets sanitized. So then what I do is I take off my hoses, off of my milker, and I take the plug out and I undo the vacuum hoses because you don't want to get those wet. So these two here are the vacuum hoses and this pulsator comes off and I just keep these attached to my pulsator. So I just twist this around and I get half of a little piece of paper towel with a little bit of cleaner spray and I just wipe off the lines since they do sit on the ground and sometimes there might be some dirt or maybe a little poop or something on it. So I want to make sure that gets cleaned off. And I take this off before I do any of my rinsing. And I just put this on my bar so it can hang. If there's any type of water or moisture in the lines, they'll come out and dry out that way. So now what I do is I do a quick rinse of everything. Cool water. Take this little stopper out here and it goes in my bowl so it doesn't go down my sink. And the lid just comes off and you want to make sure you rinse this off right away because if you don't then it can leave um like a sediment inside of your lines and then i just rinse off outside of my lines the outside of my inflations and then i kind of just swirl some water around put it right up to your nozzle and i just rinse that through the lines it's just nice cool water until I don't see any more milk. Use about five seconds is good. All right, so then I just put this out of the way here. Then I go get my jar and we'll filter the milk into it. All right, so this milker here is actually pretty heavy and it's kind of awkward to pour straight into your jars. So what I do first is I pour it into one of these pots. And it makes it a lot easier to pour into your jars and filter them. So I just pour whatever I have in there. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Then I use gallon jar glass jars and half gallon jars. Um, actually, all of my half gallon ones are full, so I'll have to use uh, two full gallon ones today. And then this is a reusable coffee filter. Sorry, my daughter is warming up her breakfast in here. Just pour it slowly through the filter. Sometimes a little bit splashes out at first. I always put the lid on before I move it and I hold it close to my body and just move it right over here on the counter, right on the other side of the camera there. And that's jar. I probably won't get a full two gallons here, but like I said, I kind of ran out of half gallon jars. So if you pour it nice and slow in the beginning, I won't splash out like I did earlier. And this is about typical for morning milking for my, my Jersey cow. Um, nowadays, um, when we first got her and when it was a little cooler out, we were getting closer to um, four gallons total a day. But um, it's been really, really hot out and she's pretty close to her heat cycle right now. So um, a gallon and three fourths is about normal for us to get in the morning. And in the evening, we'll get about a gallon and a half. So we're still averaging, you know, three and a half gallons a day, which is sufficient for our needs. So um, this is how I filter and store my milk and rinse out my machine. So next what I do is I finish rinsing out these. So I'll put this aside. I'll rinse out my filter, rinse out my pot and my milker. And then I'll usually, uh, I put my milk in the freezer for about an hour or two hours, somewhere in between there just to get really cold quickly. That will keep it um, 
it will keep it fresh. Well, I recorded the first part of this video a while back and I realized that it never recorded the second part. So I'm gonna redo um, the second part of the video where I'm gonna show you how I sanitize my milker. So first I'm gonna fill up um, my right side of my sink. I have a stopper in there and I'm gonna put about a teaspoon worth of just any type of dish soap plus a splash of bleach. I like to spray the soap like that so it's like that and then I just use any type of bleach is good. Always wear an apron for old clothes. I have ruined so many of my shirts doing this and just spilling it here on the front and leaning on it. Use really hot water. All right, so I'm gonna let that fill up and then we'll start washing. All right, another tip is make sure you always wear gloves. It helps protect your skin, especially when you're doing this once or twice a day. And I'm gonna get me a new sponge. You know, it's life. We always forget things. All right, so I got a nice clean sponge. I start by washing um, the coffee filter. Just making sure it gets soapy and bleachy. And then the stopper goes next. And then this little pen, I gotta be really careful with this. I don't ever let that go. And I put it off to the side on the counter so it doesn't go down my sink. Then I sanitize out my wash bowl. Then I'll rinse all these off and put them out of the way. I just put those all on a clean towel on the other side of my sink. So now I leave my inflations on this side and I put this whole thing under the water and I just wash really good all around the hoses and all the openings. And I flip it over and just wash all the underside here. Now this is just a basic wash. Once every week or so, I'll take it all apart, take the hoses off and use a pipe cleaner to clean the inside of them. And then I just pick up the inflation kind of untangle it, wash around the outside of it here and on the inside. Then I just run my sponge all the way down the outside of the line. Then I do the same thing with the other one. Okay, from there I move this piece into this part of the sink and I plug up the place where the air would go for the pump just so a bunch of water doesn't get in it. I just scoop up some of that soapy bleach water and let it go through the hoses. I do that three times. You can also just put some soap if you don't wanna use bleach, which is fine. Um, I'm sure there's other ways of cleaning it, but you can put soap just right down in here and then it suds it all up. Okay, so we do a hot water rinse. I rinse off my inflations first and then I run hot water through it. I hold it right up to the nozzle. I usually do it for the count of seven. Then I do the other one and then I do it again just to make sure I'm getting all of the soapy bleach water out of that. And then I just rinse my lines like that. I rinse the top of this and I turn it over and get all of that and I make sure I get into the hose that's plugging up the other ones. If I had four inflations, if I wanted to do all four at the same time, I would have two more long hoses instead of this one like this. Alright, and get all the water out of the lines. And then I have a little hook by my other refrigerator that I hang this on. I'll throw a picture in here on what that looks like. Um, next, I use my pot that I use to pour my milk into to pour it into my jars. I fill it with water, and then I pour it into my milker so that can sit for a minute. Then I sanitize this. 
this just makes it so much easier pouring it into the into your jars because that is pretty cumbersome and then i just rinse this really good when I don't have anything else to wash, I'll, um, I'll go ahead and drain my water first. I have some other things I need to wash today. So I'm just going to put my sponge straight in the inside. Once it goes on the inside, I don't wash the outside of it until I am done washing the inside. That way I'm not moving anything that was on the outside of my milker to the inside of my milker. So I just wash the bottom really well and around on the sides and on the top. And then I do it around the mouth and the lip here. And then I do the outside of my milk herb. So now my sponge will not go back inside the milk herb. I'm going to do where you pour it from. And I turn it like this in my sink and I will even see it from that angle, huh? So then what I'll do is I'll just rinse it like this with my sprayer attachment. Make sure I get all the bubbles off there. And get the top. Not the top. <laughs> the mouth. And then I'll tip it over my sink like this. And I'll just rinse it all out. Put the top, the bottom, the sides, and all around. And then I just let it drain in my sink like this, just for a little while. And then I'll put it on top of my bar, usually out of the way, so I have my sink free the rest of the day. All right, guys, thanks for watching.